Hi everyone, welcome back to anujjindal.in. My name is Karnima and today we're going to talk about time management strategies for SEBI grade A examination 2023. So SEBI is just around the corner and if you haven't started preparing for your exam, I think this is the right time you start preparing and that is why we've brought out uh, strategies, time management strategies for both working and non-working aspirants. So talking about myself, my name is Karnama. I've done BCom Honours and MCom from Delhi University. I've given a few government exams as well and I've given SEBI exam interview and very recently I've given RBI interview in 2022. So when it comes to managing time and studies, I think I've been on the same boat and I'll be able to guide you well. And this, you have to understand that the strategies that we're going to talk about today is not my strategy and it's not the strategies of our faculty, but these are strategies uh, that we got to know from students who have cleared the examination, especially very recently. For example, we were having a conversation with uh, Nidhi Yadav. She got All India Rank 5 in RBI examination 2022. And she was a working aspirant and how she managed her time was a very interesting strategy that she told us. She used to extract whatever time she had from her work, be it traveling hours or uh, having lunch at office. She used to watch videos. She used to watch Mani Sir's video, Anut Sir's video, even Gulab Samam's video. So that is how she prepared for her examination. So for those of you, you who are working and who want to manage their time well to prepare for SEBI grade examination, you can use this strategy. You can always watch videos and uh, do GA in whatever time you can get during your office hours. And she never worried about results hoga ya nahi hoga and uh, what time she's left, how much time she's left and how she's going to prepare it. She focused on her preparation. That was her entire focus. Uh, was on her preparation, right? So today we're going to talk about time management for both working and non-working aspirants. We're going to start with working aspirants. Since you're working, you cannot spare 8 to 10 hours a day. You have to give at least 4 hours each day on, weekend, uh, on weekdays and 8 hours on weekends. That's the minimum that's expected out of you. If you can stretch this four hours to six hours, that's, ve that's very good. But this is the minimum amount of time that you have to give for your exams. Now you have to understand, we have paper one, paper two in English, uh, in SEBI. English for phase two. These are the three things that we have to juggle with at the same time. Paper one may we have QRE and GA. And paper two may we have six subjects. So we have to manage our time accordingly. Considering the exam is going to take place somewhere around February, we have 2.5 months left, December and January and November as well. So you have around 340 hours, 8, 4 and uh, we have 240 hours according to 2.5 months that we have left. And how do you utilize these 4 hours? Now talking about weekdays, since you have 4 hours, you can give 1 hour each day to QRA, 3 hours each day for paper 2, which is this, these 6 subjects that I am talking about. And for GA, you have to utilize the time that you have left in your office. Like I said, you can always watch videos, Neha Ma'am's videos are always available, uh, Mani Sir's video, Gulab Samam's video. They're very helpful, especially for GA in SEBI grade examination. Along with that, you can also go for spotlight towards the end. Or do little every day, whatever time you can manage during your office hours. Utilize it to complete GA exam, right? I'm talking about paper two, we have six subjects. How do we divide our time every day to these six subjects? Since you're working aspirants, you cannot take up two subjects at a time. What we can do is we can take up one subject at one time, right? Even if we do that, we have at least, we can give 10 days per subject, right? We can give 10 days for one subject. And if you think a subject is very easy uh, and you can do it easily, you can complete it in eight days, then you can utilize that time to do a subject that is difficult for you. And if you're giving a lot of time for one subject, if you're giving 15 days, then try to cover uh, another subject in five days. Right? Even if you follow this strategy, I think, um, yes, you will be able to complete it in 180 hours. Considering you're giving 3 hours every day. You still have ample amount of time for your division. So this was about weekdays. 
talking about weekends so you have 8 hours to spare on your weekends these 8 hours you have to utilize for mocks and revision on saturdays you can do revision on whatever you have studied on weekdays and on sundays you can give more Now you will not be giving just one mock, you will be giving three mocks for paper one, paper two and English descriptive as well. And after that you can utilize your time to revise these mocks or to analyze these mocks and analyze the mistakes that you have made. This is the strategy that you have to follow, especially for working aspirants. Now you have to realize is this enough? Is, do we have enough time to prepare for the examination and all you have to do is number one start. And number two, be consistent with your studies. You cannot prepare for one day and then think he, we won't be able to do it for next two days. Consistency is the utmost is of utmost importance, right? So, we have done our strategy. Talking about mocks, a lot of times we are unable to get mocks, especially before the notification. So, I will be making another video. Uh, that will be an interesting video on how to create your own mocks. So, wait for that video. Right now, you should start prepare uh, start preparing with your um, paper 2 and paper 1 subjects and also if you are comfortable with qre already you can leave it to mocks and give more time to ga right if you are not then i think one hour every day you should give to gre so this was about working aspirants the key here is time management number 1 and being efficient with your time you have to get rid of any distractions that you have social media, Netflix, Match, kuch bhi chal raha hai. keep it aside uh, and focus these four hours only for studying. Only then will you be able to clear the examination. Okay, now talking about non-working students, since you have ample amount of time, you should be able to give seven to eight hours per day. Now, how do we divide these eight hours per day? morning, afternoon and evening. You can have a session, your self-study session uh, in these three, three time breaks, morning, afternoon and evening. In morning, you can pick up paper two. Afternoon, mein, you can do GA or QRE. And if you're not very comfortable, if you're not very comfortable with QRE, then you can give your entire time to QRE separately in the evening. That's paper one. Right? Again, you have to analyze will you be able to manage your QRE considering SEBI may this very less weightage for GA and QRE as well because it's qualifying. Right? So if you're well enough, well prepared enough for QRE section, you can skip it and do paper, pick up another paper, paper two. If not, then you should be, you should do QRE only and you should be able to complete it in next 30 days. Okay, this was about weekdays. Now what about weekends? How do we manage our weekends? You have to realize it is very important to do mocks and revision side by side. We always think revise to tap karenge when we'll, pre we'll be preparing first and mocks bhi tap denge jab hum preparation karenge. That's not the key. Uh, we recently had another conversation with the student uh, Asha Bhiyani. He uh, got AIR 100 in RBI examination and he said it was his words that um, revision is of utmost important and revision is actually more important than preparing for the examination. He never took out any more time for revision but he considered revision as a part of his preparation. He always kept time for revision and gave very much importance to re revising every subject that he's doing. Okay, so we've done, we've done with week, weekdays, we have to understand what are we going to do on weekends. You have Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays and Sundays. You can utilize Saturdays for revising everything that you've studied during weekdays. And Sundays you have to give mocks. Again, three mocks. One for paper one, for paper two and English descriptive. See, a lot of students ask English descriptive should, should be started right away or should we give mocks right now or after phase one. Since you do not have a lot of time between phase 1 and phase 2, it's rightly said that you focus on English. Mein zyada focus karo. 
a lot of students are unable to clear the examination because of english descriptive they do not focus on english descriptive they only focus on paper 1 during phase 2 so start focusing on english uh, abhi se hi only then will you be able to clear your examination right so this is about mocks give three mocks and again i'll be making a video about uh, how to create your own mocks that will be a very interesting video so this is what you have to do during your weekends and if you are able to manage your time like this i think nobody can stop you from clearing your examination even if you are working or not working we have limited time but it's not like it's not enough you can easily clear your examination uh, if you are consistent with your preparation agar har roz padhai karoge tabhi clear hoga otherwise it's very difficult to clear the examination so start preparing for your exam uh, sebi is probably going to take place in february if you've already not started preparing abhi se hi padhai karna shuru kare you'll definitely be able to clear the exam i wish you all the luck for your exam thank you